What's the password? Can I come in? Nah, that ain't it. Get on out of here, kid. This is for adults only. Hey, guys and gals, gals, cats and kittens, Elliot's and Maisie's. Look at this great case. Now, this is a Rumblers, and I had Rumblers as a kid. Mine was the, e the Eagle guy with the top hat was my favorite. And the cool thing about it was several years ago, I found one that was a cheap plastic reproduction and the guy was there and I didn't recognize the two was going together. Totally forgot until it was too late. Uh, but I got the motorcycle in a plastic form. But we're going to open this case for the first time in probably 50 years. It has been sitting on a shelf in a house that was just purchased by a friend of mine. And look at this. It's got goobers all over it. Like some little kid was picking his nose and opening and closing this case for the last 50 years without washing his hands. Ah! Let's open this and see what's in it. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. 1968 Hot Wheels! I'm excited! How about you? Oh! It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. <laughs> the best was for adults only. <laughs> oh, this one is so cool to me. I love motorcycles. Loved them since a kid. Choppers and hot rods. All that kind of stuff. This is a Hot Wheels. Rumblers. Roaring 8 Collector's Case. It's number 58847. And it's 1970 Mattel Incorporated. Hawthorne, California, 9... 0250 manufactured from Mattel made and printed in the USA all rights reserved under international and pan American convention now the sides have nothing on it now this one does have a handle which is cool but this is an early handle you can tell because there is no ribbing in it and these handles would bust all the time because the kids were you know hauling these around and then later on they actually put ribbon on the handle here's the back side <clears throat> now you can see this one this side look at this so 70s <laughs> it's like Lee Majors you know in the six million dollar man riding that thing now you can tell this side was up against the wall because it's pretty clean and free from whatever was in the air in the house because all these other sides uh, I hope that's not black mold if it is and I'm found dead you know what it's from it's these cases <laughs> oh, let's get into this I am so excited you ready you ready you ready I have no idea what the inside of these look like Looky, looky, tookie, tookie! <laughs> oh, I was hoping it would be rumblers. But the next best thing! Do you know what those are? Johnny Lightning! <laughs> now we have a couple of these. Oh! <laughs> this is so much fun, I can't stand it! I can't stand it! This is so cool. Hang on a sec. Now this is one of the earlier cases, which is kind of cool. And I had no idea how the partitions were going to be. So there's four on the top, four on the bottom. And the rumblers, they came with um, not only the motorcycle, but there was a base that would hold them upright in the track that the wheels of the, the rumbler would... Uh, snap into oh, <laughs> so much fun look at this thing now Johnny Lightning was copying Hot Wheels at the time trying to do the red line trying to come out 
with something that was even bigger and better than Hot Wheels because they saw the boom in the Hot Wheels uh, industry at that time because Hot Wheels were so much faster than Matchbox that it left it in the dust. Johnny Lightning by Topper. Custom El Camino. Now you guys, guys, gals, cats and kittens, Elliot's and Maisie's all know that this is my wife, Big Mama's favorite car. She wanted one of these as a kid, but her daddy-o said no way. Not gonna happen. Need something protected. So he, he, he bought her a charger. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I'm telling you, he was living through that one. <laughs> My wife is the best. So look at this. Beautiful engine on that. This one, the paint is still pretty good. Surfboards are just like molded into place, not like where you can remove them like the original Diora. And you know they were copying the Diora on this one. They wanted something that they could put surfboards on. Ah, oh, this is just so cool. Now there's only eight spots here and kind of what I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm telling you, Johnny Lightning, some of their designs. Now to a normal person, <laughs> these designs would be like, no way. Too, too goofy, too weird. This is Topper, see that? And remember, uh, one of our other videos, we had topper, large scale, like Tonka toy cars, custom dragster, foreign patent pending, U.S. foreign patent pending, Johnny Lightning. So anyways, the designs on these things were so goofy and most of the kids would be like that is too weird but I'm like yeah love it now I'm looking at this look at those exhaust pipes the the last one is the longest one so is it I'm guessing it's supposed to be that way because focus camera do your work are you gonna Either that or my glasses are foggy. So anyways, <clears throat> there's no way they could have broken off the first three of those. And I didn't hear any pieces rattling around at the bottom. Oh, does this... Look at this. Does that go up? It's... <laughs> it's rounded. Oh! Oh! Lucky my eyes aren't working right. Look at that. There's a piece of tape on there holding that canopy in place to save it. And that tape has been on there for a long, long time. Very smart move, whoever did that. Now this one is an orange one. Again, red, red uh, lines on them, but not as cool as Hot Wheels. They're kind of like molded and rounded and a little cheesy, but <laughs> now here, here's the Hot Heaps button. Now I'm going to keep these all in the same cases the way I found them. Printed in the USA, 1967. Now the Hot Heap was in our last case in part two this is part three this is the TNT this was fashioned after uh, oh, Steve blah blah blah's uncertainty I'm totally drawing a blank on his name usually it's just spitting out of me Johnny Lightning on that where the logo is separated topper upside down TNT real big across there. See that? That is, that is so sweet. And again, we've got a couple of these. We've got some originals as well as the Plain Mantis repops. And Plain Mantis uh, did a lot of repops on these. The exhausts are all intact. 
which is cool because those usually bust it off so that is nice what is the guy's name <laughs> with the TNT Steve Stevie Stevie Stevenson it's not the uh, hedge from over the hedge named Steve look this is what I'm talking about it's like they just took a slab of metal and just ground the front off a little bit and added two big engines now the last one that I found of this had one of these big turbines uh, busted off but this one's intact so that's kind of cool and then they just add one little cockpit in the middle and I mean to normal kids it's like well that's pretty boring but to me I'm like wow it's <laughs> so cool explains a lot <laughs> oh look at the wheels a little whack a lack a jack but that's okay this is the slingshot US and Ford patent pendings topper Johnny Lightning now topper or uh, Johnny Lightning was licensed to playing mantis and then playing mantis was licensed to tomi tomika so you never know they might be coming out with some of these now this is one of the cases that fold open so you can kind of see on the inside what's happening oh look what we found in the bottom here here's a wheel and you can tell it's a johnny lightning wheel now some of these have actually lost the wheel so who knows <laughs> maybe our next little batch here might be missing a wheel so I've never seen these cases before which is interesting and again these are to house the uh, rumblers and just to have the case I love the case because it's a different case we've got the Harley Davidson case we have the monster monster truck case we've got some of the old vintage we've got the the round tire case the original round tire case from Hot Wheels but I I've only seen this one um, online so it's really cool to hold it and this is in great shape <laughs> so let's see what we <laughs> oh, look at this hang on a sec hang on no rumblers but that's okay oh look at this one this one's a sweet little roadster this one again is a Johnny Lightning this one has a rumble seat that actually works which is really cool nice light green on it totally digging that digging it digging it digging it dog look at this so Cool. Johnny Lightning Topper Custom 32 Ford US and foreign patent pendings Got a tab coming through to hold the seat in place. It's green with a red interior This one is missing a windshield, but maybe it's in there. Who knows? It does have all its wheels and tires, so that's good. So that missing tire is not from this Oh, another one red with a red interior exact same as the last one red line tires so this had to have been one of his favorites so again the windshield missing but I did it come with a windshield I'm pretty sure look at that center drive on that for set up for the race oh the drag races Look at the overspray on that. They missed. It's got a number three upside down on that piece so the manufacturers would know where it's from and which car it goes to. Here's your bottom. Johnny Lightning, Topper, Custom 32 Ford, US and foreign patent pending. Ah, oh, these are so so cool oh, I, I again these memories <laughs> and these cars it's just these are really fun cars that you really don't get to see too often oh 
this is like called the like the beer runner or something like this I found one of these cars that literally no wheels no paint it, it was so damaged but this little keg in the back was in place now this is uh, metallic blue with chrome interior this one is a super heavy piece and that's what um, Johnny Lightning were going for is they were going for the weight to try and beat it down the smuggler that's it <laughs> they were trying to beat the Hot Wheels down the track now they US form patent pending and there's your topper logo but they were trying to copy the lack of friction by just having this little edge on the tire there on the inside and I think if you look it's almost to a point so the the tire is cut on an angle like this so it's even less surface touching surface going down the track and that's why they were hoping with the weight and that little edge of the tire touching causing the least amount of friction oh so, look at this one this one's one of my all-time favorites look at this <laughs> engine monster engine in the front and monster engine in the back now it has red lines on the front and actually you've got something written on there which I'll let you guys read because you read better than I do oh good year and look at that engine I love this stuff it is so much fun oh, I'm so excited to see this stuff and show it and then go racing with it this is the bug bomb now you can't use a name like that anymore everyone's freaking out and snowflaking us and stuff like that and you know us old schoolers are like no big deal <laughs> oh look at that it's almost like they stretched it out a little bit where this roof is a little bit flatter that is and again this is all metal tiny little uh, edges on those tires to cause the least amount of friction for racing now again when these things are sitting on the shelf you don't know what's gonna get in there and there's something that got in there there's some little schmutzy 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 in there now I always take the cases out because you never know if a piece fell off into the corner Oh, you got a spider web in this corner. It's been up there so long. So much fun. And like I said, this was one of the first cases where it actually folded out to get the trays out easier. And you can see that this, this case has probably been sitting in that basement for decades. So, but so, so cool. Now, <laughs> let me rearrange. I'll do a flyover and we're gonna put these guys on the track for the first time in 50 years. Ah, I can't wait! Oh, it was Steve Scott! <laughs> That's who it is. It was two first names. That's why I couldn't remember it. Ah, oh, look at these. Now I remember I found this one at a thrift store in a bag with a bunch of other cars. And again, no one saw it. And, and I'm not first into the store, so I usually get, you know, sloppy seconds on those things. Um, I usually try not to go into the stores because uh, it's always disappointing for me to ever find. Now, the cool thing is, you got an extra wheel in case one pops off. And here's one more button that goes with all the buttons in this case, the 12 car case from part two video. This is part three. So, you ready to go racing? All I gotta do is switch one light over. <laughs> Again, these are so cool. You don't see these all the time. This one is my all-time favorite out of this group. These are more classic and very cool. Like, uh, Happy Days Cool. So, 
Let me see if I can switch this light around with one hand and kind of get the light up onto the track and let's go racing. Let's go with these two. Again, these guys have probably not seen a track in decades and that's what they're for. That's what I love about these cars. Just don't tuck them away in the abyss of your storage. Man, those were fast. Now, I'm telling you, I've run into people that were throwing away cars. They told me they'd thrown away their cars. Don't throw away your cars if you're watching this. If you don't like them anymore, maybe tuck them away for another time that you do like them. And if you don't, and you run across them again and you still don't like them, find someone that loves them and give them away. Something happened. Oh, there's a little, little bend in that track there. Where the other one? Here he is, over by the Don truck, the Adam truck. Don, oh, I miss my friend Don so much. Oh, there's something. Something happening on that one track that derails them a little bit. Let's do these drag racers, see how they do. Now again, super skinny tires on the front on that one, which is really cool to see. Oh, they're rolling slow. <laughs> this one didn't even make it the track. Uh, we'll take him down. Look at those wheels though, maybe that's that was part of it. But it shouldn't have mattered. Here's the wheels on the one, here's the wheels on the other. Now these are two super heavy cars. This one weighs like almost as much as me, which you need to reinforce the track if you're gonna race this guy. Let's see what happens. Oh! I don't even know what happened on that. Uh-oh, where'd he go? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, look, here he is. He's hiding under this truck. I knew he went somewhere. Let's see if I can reach up there and get him. Oh, I just need soda pop here to get the longer arm oh, again he is super fast very cool now these two now the beetles a little heavier I'm gonna put him in the far track which is a little bit longer and the Steve Scott uncertainty TNT here oh and there's a big story behind all that But there was controversy and he got, you know, threatened off the show circuit series because this car, some of the mainline people. Too much attention. Oh, he is. Dude, and do that. Let's put him on the top track and see what happens. Nice. But you can read all about that, and I don't know if Steve Scott is still alive. Oh, so cool. I'm gonna put these all guys back in and tuck them away so hang on I'll be right back oh so anyways but there is some some crazy crazy stories now if I remember the 
the bug bomb was in the goober infested one. Put that there. Not quite sure remembering exactly where everything was. So we'll put them back into whatever spaces they got. And then put our new tray on the top here. And then these last four in. I know this one was on top. And I'll put these buttons back in and the extra wheel. Oh, is that cool or what? <laughs> Thanks for coming in to a toy car case event of this vintage Rumblin' Roarin' 8 collector case by Hot Wheels. I wish the Rumblers were in there. That would have been totally cool. But you never know what's in this last case, which is going to be video number four in this series. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember, like and subscribe. <laughs> and share whenever you can. Oh, there's a little tear in this corner. I just noticed that. Pretty wild. Nothing much. You can see all the dirt in there from the hears of just sitting. But still, very fun stuff. Very cool things. Thanks for coming into the Supper Club to a Toy Car Case event. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. We'll get into this next one, part four. Ah, so much fun. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.